In this video, I'm going to do some vocabulary with you, and this is for circle geometry. Before you do any other of this circle geometry, you really do need to know what these, um, these words mean. The first one is diameter, and it's usually referred to as a capital D. And the diameter would be a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other side, so let's call this AB, and it goes through the center. It's important that it does go through the center. So in this case, D is this whole diameter here, that's the length, and I'm also going to indicate that with AB, length, length AB. Now the radius, I'm going to draw in a different color, and the radius goes from the center to the, the outside to the, cent the, the line itself, the circle itself, and that is R. And it's usually denoted with a small r, and, um, and so it, it is anywhere from the center to that circumference. Okay, so even you can have an R right in here, which goes from here to here, and it, it can go all the way around. So that's half the diam diameter. Now, the next thing that, you, that is stated here is the chord. And a chord is an interesting one because AB is actually a chord. Basically, a chord goes from one side of the circumference to the other side, but it doesn't have to go through the center. So, for example, let's just make a chord up here. This is considered a chord. So I'll just do that a little darker uh, again for you so you can see it. Now, whoa, whoa. This, <laughs> this chord is, um, is important because a chord is, um, is used for a lot of, of circle geometry, and it also helps to define a couple of other things, um, which we'll get to in a second. And I'm going to call this EF, and that way you can see that this is EF, and that's the chord. Now, the secant is very similar to a chord, except a secant, so I'm going to draw the chord, but a secant goes beyond it. I'm going to do another color here, so you can see the secant is this color that goes right through. And notice the secant, we can still label this, I'm going to label this KL here, and so there's a KL. And that secant actually goes right through, so you have the chord KL, and you have a secant that goes right through. And this is really important that it doesn't just end on the circle. EF is for sure a chord, okay? This is a secant that just cuts right through. Then after that, you have something called a tangent. And a tangent, um, you'll, you'll see and when you do uh, trigonometry and you talk about it with slope, there's a lot of neat things that happens with a tangent. The tangent goes just like that. And it is, uh, so this is our tangent, and I'm just, um, I'm going to label this one tangent. And the neat thing about a tangent, which is really important to note, and this is in another video, is that when you join, it only touches at one point on the circle. And so therefore, this is why a tangent is used as a slope idea too. So that's a slope. If you extend that out, you can actually find the slope at that one point. And if you found the, the line from here to the center of the circle, you'll find another video where I, I, I show it's a 90 degrees. The tangent is an important concept, and you'll see that in a lot of different mathematics. Now, so I just drew that with a line, and I, I, I did the other. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about this major axis and the minor arc, sorry, major arc and the minor arc. Now, a major arc is when you take a chord, so we have this chord EF, and when you look at this arc here, there's an arc on one side of it and there's another arc on the other side of it. So this arc that goes right around here, in this case, is larger than this other arc here. So this arc that comes all the way around here, I'm just going to sort of go around, this one is called the major one because it's larger than the other one. And in this case, it happens to be below. So that's the major arc. And the minor arc, I'll put in blue. And whoops, that's your minor arc. 
because it's smaller than the other one. And they're considered arcs because they're not a complete circle. If you completed it, the major and the minor arc, it makes a complete circle. So, and they are always from, from this chord. You can also make another ma major arc and a minor arc from this KL, where the major arc this time would be around here, and the minor arc would be this little part. All right, so those are all the definitions you need to know to do the circle geometry.